Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you're here. You know, two of my very favorite things to do in the fall are going to the apple orchard to pick apples and going to the pumpkin patch to pick out a pumpkin to carve up for Halloween. Well, the story I'm going to share with you talks about doing both of those things. This book is called Apples and Pumpkins. The author is Ann Rockwell, and the pictures are by Lizzie Rockwell. You can see on the cover there's a little girl, and she's picking out a pumpkin. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to the Comstock farm to pick apples and pumpkins. You can see the leaves are all different colors. They're orange and red and yellow. And look, there are the pumpkins growing on the ground and the apples growing in the trees. Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. There's the geese and the chicken and the big fat turkey. And look, there's baby chicks. One, two, three. My father picks apples. My mother does too. See, we reach up and get the apples. I climb into a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, oh, those look very good. We go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. She found one she thinks is just right. You see the long vines the pumpkins are growing on? My father cuts it from the vine. See? I carry it back to my car. The farmer says bye. What's she doing? What are they doing with that pumpkin? You're right, they're making a jack-o'-lantern. At home, we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. We put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks scary and funny too. He does have kind of a funny, scary face, doesn't he? On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep. My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for trick or treat. While I go trick or treating up and down our street. Oh, oh, there's the little girl. She's dressed up like a witch for Halloween. And that is the end. I hope you really like this story because to me, it's all the best things about fall. It talked about the leaves changing colors, yummy apples, fun pumpkins, making jack-o'-lanterns, going out trick-or-treating. It's all the best. So I hope that you, if you don't get to this fall, maybe next fall, I hope that you get to go to an apple orchard and pick some apples and go to a pumpkin patch and pick out a pumpkin. Thank you so much for letting me read to you, and I will see you next time. Bye.